about thinking. That's a lovely sound. OK. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen also, because I think that's helpful. OK. To share or not to share, that is the question. Um, probably take it off sharing when we so i have a question for you who's, that i want you to think about who's you all of us all of you i want you to think about this okay. how do we know when someone is speaking when we're reading a text like we're reading ghost boys and we're reading and we're reading or maybe we're reading like we read this last year the fantastic mr fox how do you put the table down there i don't know how do we know when someone is speaking in the text i will say their name so oh, not the name, I, uh, I have a draw it out and i want you to pretend that these words are being spoken by a character. I want to know what you should add to this so that I know as a reader that this is being spoken by a character. So I'm going to let you draw the proper punctuation to let us know that this is being spoken. So I see um, Mac is drawing, Gabby submitted it, uh, Adrian. So you need to be on Nearpod um, and you please participate as, as you will receive participation points for this, which is a great. Shouldn't take a lot. Okay, sincere. So you're adding even more. What does it show that I'm not doing nothing? Okay, I see. Miguel, you submitted it. Oh, and you. Okay, Mac, you are drawing. I see. George and Jacob uh, and Kamari, I'm still waiting for you. And Adrian, who's here but not here. <laughs> here but not here. Mm. George, like, just left. Like he did. I think his phone died. Possibly. Uh, and Jay, Jathan, if you could get on the Nearpod so that I can capture what it is that you're working on. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Miguel? Oh, sorry. Thank you. All right. I'm going to give you two more seconds and then we're going to. We're going <laughs> to. All right. So. If you go, so if you look at the Nearpod, go back, you should be looking at the Nearpod and it says, Yeah, I see the Nearpod. The front is out, right? Oh, thanks, George. I think you just switched to your computer, huh? Yeah. Um, so what you would add is those. You see on the Nearpod what, uh, what circle? Do we add uh, it? Oh. No. You're, does anybody raise? You don't have to raise your hand, actually. If you want to unmute, what are what? Do you know what those are called? I forgot. You forgot. Does anybody know what those are called? He just ran away. So, quotation, quotation mark. It says there. the sun is out. Yep. So in those are called quotation marks. And those tell me, as a reader, oh, those tell me as a reader that someone is speaking. Miguel, you had a question. Do we have to write them? Um, or no, there, were, there weren't any quotation marks on there. I was, I wanted to see if anybody would add them, and so you had to add quotation marks. So that again, I just wanted to see who remembered. It was not. It was just giving me some information about who knew what quotation marks were. 
So, okay. So a lot of times you see people do air quotes. Look at one, two, one, two. That so that those are quotation marks, right? Go ahead and do, do your air quotes. Quotation. Quote. It looks like bunny. Yeah, like or like two little bunnies. Yeah, it's like two little rabbits are talking to each other. Um, and in between those rabbits is what is being said. That helps. Okay. And those are called quotation marks. Oh. Okay. So let's take a look at the fantastic Mr. Fox. We looked at this yesterday. So look at how many quotation marks there are. Yesterday? So we looked at this yesterday. This is actually from the fantastic Mr. Fox, and this is a little bit of a review. You read it? No, we just just one, just this little blurb. And it says, dang and blast those lousy beasts, cried I Argus. I said I remember and, the whole book. And who who said that? It was Bogus. Right? I'd like to rip his guts out, <laughs> said Bunce. Mm -hmm. And remember, I'm trying to remember all the voices that I did last year. That was spoken by Bunce. And you can see that I've highlighted it a different color. This is something that you can do even on your own as you're reading. What was the other voice? There's one more. There's Bean, right? Yeah. But how, said no, Bogus, how no. on earth can we catch the blighter? So no. that's Bogus. And the last one is Bean, right? Bean picked his nose delicately with a long finger. I have a plan. You have a plan to take your boogers out? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I said that. No, to, to remember, he used to get Mr. Fox. Okay. So. It is time to take some notes. Oops. Yeah, it's time to take some notes. So go ahead and get your notebook out, please. We are going to do a thinking map right now for Ghost Boys. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and we're going to do this all together. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my camera. Just allow uh, me. Yes. When you went to the next slide, why is it 901? Uh, you'll see. We'll we'll get to that together. Um, you have a very very quick eyes. Okay. I know. Right. So before we do this, I'm gonna just before we finalize the notes, I'm we're gonna have a little conversation about the text here, and I wanted to just kind of review. This is also a review for. Ghost Boys, and do not write this down right now. We are just thinking out loud, and I want you to go ahead and just see how I'm putting all this information down. Pin Mr. Lambic. So yeah, go ahead and po pin this, Ghost Boys. So I want you, we're gonna ask this question, who? Who are the characters in this story? Who are the characters in this story? See if we can remember um, any. So just raise your hand and I'll call on you. Raise your hand. Miguel, who's, who are some, just list one character that you can remember from this story. I remember every each one. Okay, so I want to I wanna make sure that everyone has a chance to respond and, and participate. So can you just name one character? And the best, Mr. Fox. No, 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 for Ghost Boys. A oh, ghost voice? Um, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, I forgot. It left. Hold on. Okay. Do you want a moment? Yeah. Okay. God knows. Jeremy? Jeremy. Wait, wait, wait. Mac, Mac, what did you say? God knows. Carlos. Okay. So you remember Carlos. Okay. Oh, put your. Sarah. Sarah. Hello. Um, um, Jerome. Jerome. Jacob said Jerome. Thank you. And Ghost Boy. Uh, and the Ghost Boy. Okay. Do we remember the Ghost Boy now? We have. He has a name. Do you remember what his name was? His name was. Don't. It got revealed. 
Don't tell us. Chill. Uh, no. Chill. Tim. No, it was yeah. Emmett. Oh, Emmett Till. So it's, uh, were you saying his last name? It's Emmett Till. Okay. And this is. And Jerome? So we've got Jerome already. Thanks. Uh, Gabby, can you remember it? Gabby, can you remember a character from the Ghost Boys book? The name of a character? Gabby? Um, I think your microphone is broken, Gabby. You can go ahead and mute. We're going to have to talk to you. Okay. I'll put your mic. Mari, can you remember? We, we've got to roam. Wait. Uh, I'll put your mic. Okay. okay. Um, Cam, Let me, Cam. Kamari, who's another character from Ghost Boys? Kim. Kim. Okay. Thank you. Great. Great job, Kim. And that's Jerome's sister. George, do you remember a character from Ghost Boys? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Jason and then I'll come back to you, Mac, I promise. Jason, do you remember any other characters from Ghost Boys? Jason, okay. Um, Mac, another character that you remember? Could you say that one more time, please? Officer Mord? Officer, Officer Mord, right. Good job. Officer Moore. Grandma. Grandma. Okay, now you're on a roll. And Pop. Pop. Anybody else want to throw some more in? Or, or Mac, you can just keep going. <laughs> okay, so you you all did a, a good job of answering some of those questions. There's also Ma, right? Now I'm gonna ask you, where are some places that these, that, like, remember, when you're reading a book like this, sometimes it's easier to think of it like a movie and movies are broken into scenes. And so since we don't have chapters, I like to think of this idea of like scenes. So where are the different scenes taking place? Where are the main places where the scenes are taking place? Can you repeat the question you said? Sure. Miguel, where are some places where the book takes place? For example, I'll just say Jerome's house, right? Sarah's house. Ah, okay, Sarah's house. Where else has, where else have some places in this book been? Where else have been some places in this book? Um, if you are taking notes, that's awesome, but that's great. I forgot. How about, so school, right? Yeah. Where, um, and, and at school, there's been the classroom. And where else has there been at the school? Remember the scene where Carlos pulls the gun? <laughs> Where were were they at the school? In the bathroom in the cafeteria. Bathroom. Okay, great. And then there's also the cafeteria. Great job. Okay. All right. And then where else has there been action, or what other places? Do you remember? In the whole city. The whole. I know. Well, be specific. Oh, his his neighborhood. His neighborhood. Okay. In the coop. And at the courtroom, at neighbor, oops, neighbor, oops, hood. I messed that up. And you at the court. What do you write? Courtroom. Okay. So this is what we're going to focus on right now is this courtroom. What do you say in the top? 
That says neighborhood, but I messed it up. I got distracted while I was writing. My brain, my brain went left when my hand went right. Can you spell it out? N e i g h b o r h o d. I didn't hear nothing. All right, Nate,、uh, do you want me to rewrite it? Yeah. I'll write it down here. N e i g h b o r h o o d. Neighborhood. So it's three syllables. With a lot of extra letters. All right, great. So we're going to kind of focus on the courtroom, and now we are actually going to start taking some notes. So go to your official notebook and turn to the next clean page. And go ahead. And today is November seventeenth. We actually have about two notebooks, or what? Yep, I have one where I plan and write notes, and then this is this is my official notes notebook. Why didn't tell me that before? Because it doesn't really impact you. <laughs> I have like three notebooks. I have lots of notebooks. I have notebooks everywhere. Good teacher.、Right. So, Ghost Boys. We're gonna say we're gonna abbreviate Ghost Boys, and we're just gonna see G B Ghost Boys answering the metacognitive questions. Who? Oh, look at there's a quotation mark again.、Um, who and where? And quotation marks are you. We'll we'll talk about more uses for quotation marks in a little bit. But so this next scene that we're about to read is at the courthouse. So at the courthouse. And inside the courthouse is a courtroom. I'll let you write that. Can you move it to the right? Letter. Mm-hmm. I am gonna go ahead and mute because you get a little. I think it, Anthony is on class, right? I'm watching TV.、Mm -hmm. So, as you wrap up those notes, I want us to think about who is in this courtroom. Who are the characters in this courtroom who are taught? Who would be talking? So you can unmute yourself and unmute yourself. more,、um, more. Officer Moore, okay.
Okay, so Officer Moore is around. Who does most of the talking in a courtroom? Jerome. Um, I'm going to add that Jerome is in. I mean, Jeremy. So Jerome, no, because Jerome is in the courtroom, but as a ghost, right? So I'm just going to kind of put him off to the side here. Who does most of the talking in a courtroom? I want you to think of any court TV that you've seen. The judge. Okay, so the judge does a lot of talking. Okay, so the judge, I'm going to put a little star there. So the judge obviously does a lot of talking. Thank you, Jacob, for that. Um, who is the one that asks a lot of questions? Who in a courtroom asks questions? Asks questions. The lawyer, right. The lawyer. So I'm going to go ahead and put a star by this, and we're going to put lawyer. And there are two of them, but I, I don't want to get us too complicated in that. Anybody else think of um, somebody else that's in this courtroom right now? That, the police that, officer. Say that again, Jacob. The police officer. Oh, we got that already. Officer Moore. Sarah. 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 Sarah is in the courtroom. Sarah. Yeah. I'm going to put her over there because she's not going to do a lot of talking when she's in the courtroom. Glamour. Um, say that again for me, please. Grandma. Grandma. Grandma is in the courtroom also, and she's just walk, she's just watching things. So I'm gonna. Grandma, Pop, and Ma. Grandma, Pop, and Ma. All right, we're gonna put them all off to the side here because they are in the courtroom. They might not do a lot of talking, but they're definitely there. Who else is there then? Who else is there? So do you remember, I'm gonna throw out a word here. We're gonna put it off to the side. And actually I'm gonna put a little bubble around it. So I'm gonna say witnesses. So who, what's the job of a witness? They saw everything what happened. They saw, they, okay, so thank you, Miguel. They're, they're the ones that see what happens and then they tell the court what they saw or how they were involved. Yep. Right. So hang on to your notes. Uh, I'll give you another 29 seconds to finish copying whatever you need to. <laughs> but then we're gonna go back to the near pod. Today's long. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to leave the notes up, I think, instead of so that you see the notes and not my face. I'll try and make it a little bit bigger. All right. So going back to the near pod, let's go back to the near pod and the next slide, 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 slippity slide. All right, so. Let's take a look at this just really quickly. I just want you to scan what you see. And what do you see at the top? Where are they? I want you, remember, I want you to ask these questions to yourself. Where is this happening? Who's in this scene? So where is this happening? Um, Jathan, are you there? Not there. Okay. 
Jacob, where is this scene happening? In the um the 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 the, the, the courthouse. Yes, it's at the courthouse. So that is going to give us a that's going to be a big clue as to who is talking. So our job is to find out who's talking and actually to take it a step back we have to figure out which lines are being spoken. With that said, hopefully I'm going to switch to the slide on the Nearpod. So we have another draw it. And here's what I want you to do on this draw. It. I want you to circle or underline the lines that are being spoken by a character. Draw a circle or you can underline the lines that are being spoken by a character. Miguel, I see you're working. Gabby, you've got that turned in. Um, Miguel, I see you're working. Mac, I see you're working. Miguel, oh, you, you did a circle and an underline. That's very, very clever. Um, Kamari, I see that you're working. Thank you, sir. Thank you for submitting, Kamari. George, Jacob, Jathan, um, if you could please participate as this is, okay, sincere, thank you. I see you're working on this. Thank you, sincere, for submitting. I'm gonna give another nine seconds. Jacob, I need your participation, sir, please. Remember our, remember our conversation? Can I get a battery? Um, yes. All right, we're going to move on. So if you circled, you were the operator that answered the 911 call. And yes, yes, I did. Look there, they're in the bunny rabbits. Ear. They're in the bunny ears, looking for the bunny ears, and that's how you know where to write, draw your circle. Now it's going to get a little bit trickier, and I'm gonna ask you to do something a little trickier, which is to figure out who is saying each line. So you only need to worry about the first two. You were the operator that answered the phone. So before we even do that, before we even do that, let's go back to our notes. So who are the who are the people speaking in this scene? So we're in the courthouse, right? So there's going to be a judge there. There's going to be a lawyer there. And I'm going to say there's going to be a witness there. So these are kind of the three people that are involved. I'm going to just kind of. So these are the three people probably involved in this scene right now. Right. Hopefully you're looking at my little notes and that's a neat highlighter. Okay. Um, so. The judge, the lawyer, and the witnesses are there. So I want you to figure out, there are two people speaking. Who says the first line? Is it the judge, lawyer, or witness? And who said the second line? So go ahead and um, I want you to write the names. You're gonna either write, and you can look at your notes or you can look at my notes. So you're gonna either write judge, lawyer or wit i'm sorry or, the, or witness judge lawyer or witness so you should be writing a name next to each line you should be writing a name next to each line 
or you can type it too. Remember, you can use type it or good job. Okay, great job. And it, thanks, Sincere. Mac is gonna be typing. Miguel, I think you're typing. So you can use your notes to remember who's even in the scene, but it's gonna be the judge, the lawyer, the witness. Okay, thank you. Good job, Gabby. Thank you for showing me your notes. Thank you, Sincere. I see that you're done. Um, Mac, Jacob, thanks for participating. Jathan, thank you for participating. We lost George at some point in time. Let me see when he left. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna give you seven seconds. Good job. All right. So you were the operator who and that answered that call to 911, and that would have been the lawyer. So if you put lawyer for this first one, you are correct. Remember, lawyers are the ones that often are asking the questions. So a big clue to who's talking are the question marks. Um, I put operator here, but that's the witness, right? The operator is the witness. So I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of this. So you were the operator that answered the 911 call? Yes. Yes, I did. Again, Ghost Boys is trickier than Mr. Fox because it doesn't always say who's talking. You have to do a lot of the work for it. And that's why we're actually spending some time doing this. The 911 operator looks like a college student, red hair, black rimmed glasses. Nervous, she twists her hands. So what did we just learn about the witness? Who is the witness? Kamari, who's the witness? I can go to the bathroom? Yes, you can uh, go to the The witness? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, the twins. Oh um, no! So look at the look at the text. Hopefully you're looking at the text, and I I also just read it. You were the operator that answered the nine one one call. That's the first line. Yes, yes I did. The nine one one operator looks like a college student. Red hair, black rimmed glasses. Nervous, she twists her hands. So who is the witness, Kamari? Remember, a good strategy, a good strategy if you're confused is to read it again. It's a great strategy. So I read it again, Kamari. You the, the, the college student with the red hair. Okay, the college student with the red hair. Thank you. She is the witness. And what is her job, Kamari? I'm going to see how I deal with three. She called 911. Yeah, her job is to call 911. Well, no, she's not the one who called 911. What's an operator do, by the way? What's a 911 operator? Who, who, who is that person? Jacob or uh, Sincere, who's a 911 call operator? What do they do? What's their um, uh, okay, they call police. Say that again for me, please. Tom, me, you, call me. It, it's, it's who you call. Right. Tom, the police. I call the police. Call, when you call the police, that's it's up. So a 911 operator is the person who answers calls. When you, when you call, let's say there's something going on and you 
dial, you get on your phone and you dial 911, the person that picks up is called the operator. And we also find out that she's a college student, which means is she old or is she young? Young. No. Young. And, well, you're older than you, but younger than me. Um, and then we know that she's a girl because it says she twists her hands. So we found out a lot of information about this, our, this person already. Mm -hmm. So it says nervous, she twists her hands. Did the caller identify themselves? What does no. twisting hand mean? Um, so uh, let me let me turn my um, okay. So uh, that's a great question, Miguel. To give a visual help, let me turn my camera back on. Okay. So um, let's just say that she's sitting at she's sitting in the witness stand, right? Mm -hmm. And they're asking her questions. Mm -hmm. And when she said she twists her hand, she's like. Maybe she's doing this. Oh. Right? She doesn't know it. A lot of times when people get nervous, I forget they forget to do with their hands. Mm -hmm. oh. So I'm about to give you your exit ticket. So oh. there are two people talking, right? Mm -hmm. There's gonna be the the we're gonna say the lawyer mm -hmm. and the operator mm -hmm. so for your exit ticket i want you to write an l if by the line you think the lawyer is speaking l or an o if it's the operator l o so if obviously this first one is just description did the caller identify themselves Who's saying that? You would write an L or an O by it? No, you would write an L or an O. I want you to see, I want to see if you can figure out who's speaking. All right, this is your exit ticket. Um, it's a draw it. Ooh, so I so lied. Okay, so that's actually going to be homework. Um, I thought that I had put it in there. Oh, no homework. Um, no, so that's going to be home. Your homework is to be is going to be um, to tell me if it's the lawyer or the operator speaking, okay? Sure. Good job, everybody. I am gonna stop presenting. And did anybody have any appreciations or anything they wanna close out with? Uh, I don't know. Mm, well, I appreciate everybody who had their cameras on and were participating. Thank you, Gabby, for keeping your camera on. Thank you, Sincere, for keeping your camera on. Um, I also want to appreciate the people that participated, which was also Jacob and Mac. And um, uh, thank you, Jacob and Mac and Kamari, for participating as well. Mm -hmm. So, anything else? Nope. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So um, that is going to do it for today. I will post the homework at 12. Look for the homework at 12, and I'll send a little reminder out. And okay. I will see everyone tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.